High up in the hills near Mount Kenya lies the Kathamba district. Although the community has fertile soil for farming, their remote location means that they lack a cheap and reliable energy source. But they are now starting to use their water to provide them with a new form of energy, hydropower, to generate electricity. Hydropower is one of the largest uh, single sources of electricity in the world, uh, second only to coal and possibly nuclear energy. The Pico Hydro here in this uh, area will demonstrate the capacity of small systems in changing people's lives. The Pico Hydro system is housed within this small building. Water from the stream comes down the hill and is pumped through to the generator. Inside the generator is a turbine, which is powered by the flow of water to produce electricity. This is then delivered by cables up through the hillsides into people's homes. Although the generator is small by hydropower standards, the electricity it produces is still enough to give power to 57 homes. In the past, people in Kathamba relied on expensive zinc-based batteries for their radios and inefficient kerosene lamps for lighting. Naked wheat lamp is highly polluting and very dangerous. In fact, a number of houses here have reported uh, fires and accidents using kerosene. And by removing kerosene and introducing electricity, their lifestyles have changed. Grace Mabuti has lived in Katamba all her life. During this time, she used kerosene lamps to light both her kitchen and her house, where her children would read and do their homework. I used to have a lot of problems in the past buying kerosene. And even now it's hard to find and expensive. But using electricity has made a huge difference to my life and that of my children. We no longer have these problems now that we use electricity. Not only was kerosene expensive and polluting, it ran out very quickly, which meant that parents had to prioritize use rather than for reading. A retired teacher and now a community leader, Nancy Mugo has noticed the difference that introducing electricity has made to the children here compared with those in the neighboring village. The major problem we have is studies. You know, I've been a teacher and I've retired. And uh, in the school where I was, students come from this side and our side. And the last three years, there was a great difference because children here were able to study without problems. And so the best performers came from this side. The other side, you know, sometimes you have to force your child to stop studying because you have no kerosene. And so the homework is not done. So the major problem for us is the light to see. To, to light the home and the studies. Grace describes how her children have adapted to the new technology, preferring it to the old kerosene lamps. The children have become so used to electricity that now, as soon as the light is off, the children ask, how can they read without it? <laughs> as well as providing light, electricity also powers the radio. Listening to the radio allows Grace to know what's going on in the wider community. Communication is very important for life. Uh, for example, if there, there is something uh, chaos or something good or something bad in the country, you are, you are alerted. But if you have no communication, you stay in the village uh, where we are. Uh, things are not good. You become like a fool. Uh, Mobile phones have become an important way of communicating for people in these isolated areas, and electricity has made this easier. Mobile phones have become a standard feature in our lives. And without a charging system, the community here used to make a trip to Kirogoya town, which is about 10 kilometers away, every other day to charge the mobile. That's a thing of the past. And with the mobile, there is a lot of increased security, better communication, and well-being, so to speak. The success of the Pico hydro system in Kenya means that it can be applied elsewhere too. All that's needed is a small available stream of water, together with a community that's willing to invest in the funding, building and maintaining of the system itself.